Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Roadmap and Economic Preview for the week beginning Sunday, February 17th, ending Friday, 22nd of February 2013. Here's the dollar index daily chart. We've got uh, basically, I mean, if you look at this, uh, we've basically been stuck here now for about five months in a very narrow two-point range on the dollar index. Uh, if you widen it or you know, broaden it out a bit, look back a little further, uh, you can see that we've you know kind of capped out up here for the last year and a half. And we did find some support on the support line that you can see off of this trend that's been in place for a while here. So uh, we basically are nothing new to really tell us about where we're at in the dollar index. There's the uh, trend line that you can follow. There is uh, an inverted cup and handle. If this line breaks, it's going to be a very negative break in the market. But so far, we've held right on it, and we're rallying. Uh, it looks very positive. There's a green static trend line up here that we can watch as a target, potentially. And we'll just have to see how that plays out. Uh, let's also take a look at the euro dollar daily chart, which looks like this. And you can see not a lot going on there either. We had a big cup breakout uh, basically over the last year. This March to February to February action was a cup. We've broken out and we've kind of retraced here so far. So we're landing right on a static trend line of this nine bar move up that we had. Uh, be interesting to see if we hold that. Obviously, the euro has been very strong. Now, let's take a look at the pound. And the pound, interestingly, has been heading completely in the opposite direction of the euro. So the dollar is getting stronger against the pound, but the dollar is getting weaker against the euro. The dollar is also looking at a potential breakout on the against the Canadian. Uh, so there are some signs of strength in the dollar out there. It just is not against the euro at this time. Uh, in terms of anything where we're looking for a breakout or a significant entry point on these daily charts, we don't see anything right now. So we're just focused on our intraday calls as usual. Now, Monday is a U.S. bank holiday here, uh, so there are no calls from us for Sunday going into Monday as the market's usually dead when that is the case. So we'll resume our calls Monday evening going into Tuesday, but we'll take a look now as usual at the economic data coming out this week. So uh, bank holidays out of Japan and China, uh, home loans out of Australia, that's on Sunday. Uh, Monday, we've got meetings in Europe. We've got French industrial production, uh, money stock out of Japan. Monday night, still trying on a bank holiday. Uh, consumer confidence out of Japan going into Tuesday. Again, this is the first time where the U.S. Uh, side will be open is Tuesday this week. Switzerland has their CPI. So does the U.K. along with their RPI and the PPI and everything else. I apologize. I'm looking at the wrong week. That is my bad. Let me scoot forward a week here. Uh, let's start that over. That started to sound a little familiar, didn't it? Uh, so Sunday is the uh, new motor vehicle sales from Australia. Uh, China was on holiday all last week, so they're open again. Uh, current account out of Europe on Monday. Uh, monetary meeting, uh, policy meeting minutes out of Japan and Australia. Monday while we're closed. Uh, German and broad European zoo economic sentiment. Tuesday morning early. Wholesale sales out of uh, Canada. Uh, NH NAHB housing market index uh, out of the U.S., we have the PPI of New Zealand Tuesday night. None of, none of these are big numbers that are going to have a huge impact on Forex. We've got the uh, Australian CB leading index and the MI leading index. Japan's trade balance number can have a little impact on the yen, of course. Uh, going into Wednesday, German PPI, German CPI, French CPI, uh, unemployment rate out of uh, the UK, along with uh, the minutes from their last meeting. We've got the zoo economic sentiment. And then building permits and PPI and housing starts out of the U.S. Consumer confidence out of Europe. This is all on Wednesday. Release of the uh, Fed's meeting minutes on 2 p.m. Eastern time, Wednesday afternoon. Trade balance out of Switzerland going into Thursday. Thursday is the bigger trading day of the week. We will be half size of going into Thursday from Wednesday night into Thursday as we've got flash uh, manufacturing PMI and flash services PMI out of all of Europe. Um, and the UK, but then also the CPI of the US, which is one of our big three every uh, month that we uh, that we uh, go half size ahead of. And then we've got uh, Philly Fed and CBD index along with existing home sales and some minor data out of Canada Friday morning. So the big number is going to be all on Thursday. We'll be half size ahead of that. No calls on Sunday. We resume everything on Monday and we'll be done from that point. Have a good week. We'll talk to you soon.